be like if we were to stay here? If we were to stay at our own, we were going to do bad things. They are very selfish, they are unkind, they will never help you. They will just laugh at you, see you like a god. If you could give me one, one of your favourite things about this accommodation, what would it be? Like just one thing. Why do you? From here, life is easy because nobody can now bully me. Even if this light is there, I can read and we can play. Even we have many boys who can play from that field, mm -hmm. nobody can chase us away. And it balanced that. It's a lot better. It's nice to hear that. You don't live with your brothers and sisters and your mum. Is that difficult? From here, life is easy, but sometimes I think of my mum and my brothers and sisters. Does that make you upset? Sometimes it makes me very sad. Do you still get to see them sometimes? Yes. Educate has Darwington to help you. How has that made a difference? How has he helped you? Um, give me requirements and pay my school fees. And um, even he helped me, he took me from that bad place and he brought me here. And he took me to a very good school. I'm now free. I'm, I'm now not sad. Good. <clears throat> Once you finish your education, do you know what you want to do after that? Yes. I want to be a doctor. Why? Why a doctor? If my relative falls sick, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mary, if me and Charlie came to live in Uganda and we had to do the things that you had to do, like carrying water, how would how do you think me and Charlie would cope? Uh, you would become very weak. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be very good. Not as good as you? <laughs> do you think we would struggle? Yes. Why? <laughs> Those grasses and those band of firewood, they are very, very heavy. And, and uh, if the place is too far, we collect those uh, firewoods from very far place. That's it. Then we are not used to get <laughs> those grasses and those band of firewoods. We're not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, before we moved you to a different accommodation. How come you had to get up so early at four o'clock? What, what did you do? The reason why I wake up very early in the morning, if I reach school late, then they can send me back, but I should go home back because I'm very late. So if you got to school late, they would send you back home? Yes. How far did you have to walk to get to school? Five kilometers. It's a wow. long way. And you walked every day? Yes. On your own or? When Saturday we just only rest on Sunday. Yeah. Did you walk to school on your own? Yes. Yes. What time did your school finish? At six. And then you'd have to walk six all the way home again? Yes. What, what time would you get home? Sometimes I reach at, at eight. In, at night time? But when, if, I, if I'm to run, then I can reach at 7. How far do you move from home to your school? I don't know how far it is to walk to school, but it takes me about half an hour. 
It's about 30 minutes to walk to school every day. It only takes me about 15 minutes from my house to get to my school. You use the transfer? No. Okay, what did you do? No, well, I just move. Yeah, I walk to school. You live from there. It's easy or difficult, it's mine. It's much easier than yours. Very different yeah. in England. You have to work much harder than us. Can you also take me there? <laughs> you can come visit yeah. with us. You'll have to come back with us. <laughs> do you have your brothers and sisters? I do. I have an older sister, uh, a younger sister and a younger brother. Just me at home on my own with my mum. No brothers, no sisters. <laughs> do, do you know my sister? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have a sister now. Mary, if there was anything you would like to say to girls back in England your age, what would it be? Yes. I want to thank, first of all, I want to thank the kid for helping me, for solving my problem. I want you to say that you other people from out there, I want to say to help just the people like me. We, from Uganda here, yeah, we, we have a lot of challenges, so if you could help people of Uganda, I would be very glad. <laughs>